Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. In this video, I'm going to discuss the example for absolute value inequalities. So can you refer to the question? Solve the inequalities. So in here, my suggestion is to use the definition. So by using the definition, we have the situation for n, where we have x minus 1 over x plus 3 is in between the negative 2 and 2, where the negative 2 and 2 is included. So kindly split the situation. So where we have x minus 1 over x plus 3 greater than equals to negative 2. And we have another part which is x minus 1 over x plus 3 less than equals to 2. So kindly focus on the left hand side. Step number 1. Transfer the negative 2 to the left hand side so that right hand side is equals to 0. So where we have x minus 1 over x plus 3 plus with the 2 greater equals to 0. Next is to equate the denominator. So where we will have x minus 1 plus with the 2 multiply with x plus 3 over x plus 3 greater equals to 0. Next is to expand and then simplify the situation. So in here we have 3x plus with 5 over x plus 3 greater equals to 0. So kindly focus on the sign. Since this is the simplest form, so we have to determine the sign, where we have the positive sign. Next is to split the situation. Then do remember, always assume positive. So meaning, 3x plus 5 greater equals to 0. x plus 3 greater than 0. Because for the denominator, x plus 3 cannot be equals to 0. So x greater equals to negative 5 over 3 x greater than negative 3. Next, kindly illustrate the situation in a real number line. So here we have two value, which is negative 3 and negative 5 over 3. So where on the left hand side, we have negative 3 and on the right hand side, we have negative 5 over 3. Kindly illustrate the situation in a real number line. So focus on the negative 3, empty circle, x is greater than negative 3. Next, Focus on the right hand side where we have negative 5 over 3. x is greater than equals to negative 5 over 3. So here we have a negative, negative, and negative. Kindly multiply the situation. So negative multiply with the negative, we will obtain a positive sign. Followed by negative, positive, and we will have a negative sign. Then finally, positive with the positive, and we will obtain the positive sign. Kindly refers to the sign where we have a positive sign. So our answer will be the positive sign. So kindly express our answer in a interval form. Negative infinity until negative 3, where negative 3 is not included, union, where we have negative 5 over 3 until infinity. So that will be the answer for the left hand side. Next, we are going to discuss on the right hand side. First, what we have to do is to transfer the 2 from the right to the left. Then, followed by equate the denominator. So, where we will have x minus 1 minus with the 2 multiply x plus 3 over x plus 3 less than equals to 0. Next is to expand and then simplify. So, where we have x minus 1 minus 2x minus 6 over x plus 3 less than equals to 0. Finally, we have negative x, negative 7 over x plus 3, less than equals to 0. Since this is a simplest form, so meaning that this is the time to determine the sign, where we have negative sign. So kindly split the situation and then do remember, always assume positive. Where we have negative x, negative 7, greater equals to 0. Then for x plus 3 must be greater than 0. For the denominator, x plus 3 cannot be equal to 0. So rearrange the situation. x we have less than equal to negative 7. x greater than negative 3. Next, illustrate the situation in the real number line. So we have two value, which is negative 7 and negative 3. Kindly illustrate the situation in a real number line. Focus on the negative 7. x is less than equal to negative 7. The next level, empty circle, x is greater than negative 3. So here we have a negative, negative, 
negative and negative. So multiply the sign. When we have a negative, positive, so we will have a negative sign. A positive sign. Finally, positive, negative, then we will have a negative sign. Kindly refers to the situation. So in here we have a negative sign. So meaning that, so here will be our answer. So our answer will be negative infinity until negative 7. Union from negative 3 until infinity when the negative 3 is not included. So here will be the answer for the right hand side. Since this is the absolute value inequalities, so what we have to do is to focus on the n. Meaning that we have to combine the two interval. So kindly illustrate the situation in the real number line where we have a negative 7 followed by negative 3 and then finally we have negative 5 over 3. So we have two level. So kindly focus on the left hand side. Illustrate the situation in a real number line. So where we have negative 3, negative infinity until negative 3 where negative 3 is not included. Next we have a dense circle negative 5 over 3 until infinity. So that will be the situation for the left hand side. As for the right hand side, we have a negative 7, then circle, negative infinity until negative 7. So where we have this part. Next, at the same level, where we have negative 3 until infinity. So since we have the situation n, so meaning that we have to shade the region, n means that intersect. So the intersect region will be this part. Then, so finally our answer would be negative infinity until negative 7 union where we have negative 5 over 3 until infinity. So that will be the answer for the interval form. As for the set notation, we have x less than or equal to negative 7 or x is greater or equal to negative 5 over 3. So this will be the answer for set notation. So my suggestion is to simplify the situation where we have modulus for x minus 1 over the modulus of x plus 3 less than or equal to 2. Next is to cross multiply the modulus for x plus 3 where we have modulus x minus 1 less than or equals to 2 multiplied with x plus 3. Then with the restriction, x cannot be equals to negative 3 because originally x plus 3 is in the denominator. So kindly take notes why we can cross multiply the modulus for x plus 3 because when we have the modulus, it means that the situation is always positive. Next, based on the definition for the absolute value, where we have modulus for x actually equals to square root of x square. So meaning that where we have square root of x minus 1 bracket square less than or equals to 2 multiply with the square root of x plus 3 bracket square. So in order to eliminate the square root, my suggestion is to squaring both sides. So now we will have x minus 1 bracket square less than or equals to 4 multiply with x plus 3 bracket square. Next is to expand the situation. So focus on the left hand side where we have x square minus 2x plus with the 1 less than or equals to 4 multiply with x square plus 6x plus with the 9. Expand the situation. x square minus 2x plus 1 less than or equals to 4x square plus with the 24x plus with the 36. Rewrite the situation. So we have 4x square plus 24x plus 36 minus x square plus with 2x minus 1 greater and equals to 0. Simplify the situation. So where we will have 4x square minus with the x square, so we will have 3x square followed by 26x. Next, plus with the 35 greater and equals to 0. Next is to factorize the situation. So we will have 3x plus with the 5 
multiply with x plus 7 greater or equals to 0. So this is what we have in the simplest form. So now is the moment to highlight the sign where we have the positive sign. Next, split the situation and then do remember always assume positive. So where we have 3x plus with the 5 greater or equals to 0, x plus 7 greater or equals to 0. So x will be greater or equals to negative 5 over 3 x will be greater or equals to negative 7. Next is to illustrate the situation in a real number line. So kindly locate the value where we have negative 7 and negative 5 over 3. Then do remember where we have a restriction x cannot be equals to negative 3. Kindly illustrate the situation. Then circle x is greater and equals to negative 7. Next focus on the negative 5 over 3. Then circle, x is greater or equals to negative 5 over 3. Then we have a negative sign, negative sign. Next, multiply the sign. Negative, negative, and we will have a positive. Negative and positive, and we will have a negative. Finally, positive, positive, and we will have a positive. Kindly refers to the sign. So here we have the positive sign. So our answer will be the positive region. Next, write the answer. So do remember where we have x cannot be equal to negative 3. So here will be the location for negative 3. So our final answer will be negative infinity until negative 7. Union from the negative 5 over 3 until infinity. So that will be the final answer. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you think the video is useful, kindly consider to like, comment, share and subscribe.